Hi, I'm Melissa from Yoga with Melissa and welcome to a brand new vlog. Thank you so much to all of you who watched the top 10 free things to do in Victoria last week. And as we told you, the number one th free thing to do in Victoria is come to Beacon Hill Park. And this week we are starting at the corner of Southwood and Southgate and Haywood, Southgate and Haywood. And we're gonna show you the way around the park and the top 10 things that you wanna make sure you see in Beacon Hill Park. Come on in. So number 10, and even though we've got them in order, they're not in order by value, just order by the way we're walking through the park more, more or less. We're, we want it to be a tour that's easy for you to follow more than value that makes sense <laughs> but this is actually my favorite part of the park is the Gary Oak Forest so number 10 is walking through the Gary Oak Forest make sure you get into this part of the forest is really beautiful in my opinion <laughs> walk over the hill from the Gary Oaks for Forest, you will come to our number nine, which is Good Acres Lake and the turtles on the log. On a sunny day, this whole log could be filled with turtles, but maybe it's a little windy today, so there's only a four, a four, a few, a few, a four. That's it, that's all I got to say. <laughs> that's it? Yes. Okay. Just down from all the turtles on the log, you come to the beautiful stone bridge and be sure when you come here to look up, when you look up into the big trees that are all around the stone bridge, you will see the blue herons which nest here from the spring through the summer. If you're not sure where to find them, then be sure to look on the ground around the big trees. You'll see the ones that are covered in white. <laughs> That's a pretty sure sign that's the trees where the blue herons are. So just be careful when you're looking up and when you're walking under those trees so that you don't get pooped on. When you cross over the bridge, take the path to the right and you will end up at Moss Lady. If you're curious about the making of it, I actually interviewed one of the creators of Moss Lady, so click on the card here to find out more. The one thing that I love about Beacon Hill Park is all the winding paths and where they lead. So the number six thing on our list is the beautiful little bridges that you get to cross over when you come on Beacon Hill in Beacon Hill Park. And I just crossed a cute little red bridge. <laughs> five is the famous sequoia tree across from beacon hill children's park there you can get your awesome photos for your instagram feed we've got lots of great photos in this tree over the years and i know you will get a fabulous one for yourself too fun fact <laughs> about these peacocks up here in the tree there's a lot of discussion about where they came from and who owns them city of victoria or the Beacon Hill Petting Zoo. And the fun fact is that they are wild. They were brought from India over 130 years ago by a private patron here, probably whoever owned the park at the time. And they're wild, they're wild. So that's it. <laughs> uh, but here we'll just add back into the debate. 
the city does provide some pellets for them up in around there's a little shelter behind the pe petting zoo so one could say <laughs> the city kind of takes care of them number four and this is probably the most fun thing to do in beacon hill park every morning at 10 a.m you have to come and see the running of the goats Number three is the world's tallest totem pole. Although there is some debate about this as well, it seems that Albert Bay in BC, Canada also claims to have the world's tallest totem pole. Nevertheless, this is a pretty beautiful, gorgeous, tall totem pole here in Beacon Hill Park. By the way, you wanna make sure you're wearing your walking shoes because this is a really big park. It's a quarter of the size of, what's the name of the one in? Central Park. Central Park in Central Park. So it's big. This totem pole is a little bit out of the way. It's down by Dallas Road, which we showed you last week in the vlog. So yeah, make sure you're wearing comfortable walking shoes. We're going to continue on now to the path to your right. Number two, you're going to walk up to the top of Beacon Hill and check out these stunning views. And the number one thing to do in Beacon Hill Park, the end of our tour, and my most favorite thing to do is to come to mile zero and there's a beautiful monument and statue to terry fox i was eight years old when he was running across canada to raise money for cancer this is where he would have got to if he had been able to finish his journey across canada and i just think i still get teary every single time i come here to see what he did in raising awareness for cancer and also that was the beginning of marathons and fundraisers sports events like that to raise money for different things like cancer and things like that so i think it's pretty amazing he's got an amazing legacy Okay, and bonus tip, once you walk through Beacon Hill Park, there's actually no businesses in Beacon Hill Park, which is part of its charm. Come on over to Beacon Hill drive Through and get yourself a delicious soft serve. If you made it all the way to the end of this vlog, give yourself a thumbs up <laughs> with the ice cream cone. And you know how much I love my fabulous finishers. Be sure to put, I feel like ice cream in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you next week for another great vlog.